All right, guys, we're going to do this today, all right? We're going to go ahead and put this to rest for good. If you want to smell like the big boys, but you don't want to spend the big boys kind of money, but you want to smell like the big boys, then I got the list for you. Because I have come up with 10 fragrances that smell exactly, at least 95% like the original fragrance. So these are some of the best clones I've come across. So let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy of the Fashion and Fragrance Channel. If you're into fashion, if you're into fragrance, you found the right channel, man. Go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Guys, you see the title of today's video, man. I got it for you. I got you covered. That's what I do, man. I do this for you guys, okay? So I have compiled what I feel like are the best 10 clones that I've come across in my fragrance journey thus far. These 10 fragrances are so close to the original that mm, probably not many people you come across would be able to tell the difference. I did this kind of little test a few weeks ago. If you guys didn't see it, I'll link the video right here. We're still coming with part two, by the way. Well, I had my wife try to pick the difference between the clone and the original. And as you guys can see, it was really, really hard to tell. So I got 10 fragrances again that I feel like if you were to wear the original or if you were to wear the inspired or clone fragrance, the people you come into contact with, they ain't gonna know the difference. So if you wanna save some money, get you some clones, this is gonna be the list for you, man. So you know how we rock, I'm gonna run the intro. We'll be right back, we're jumping into it. Keep it locked right here, let go. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. And for your viewing and for your convenience pleasure, I'm going to make sure I link all these fragrances down below if I can find them in the description box. So if you want to find them, they'll be down below. All right, guys, so the first fragrance up, I'm not going through notes and stuff like that because it is what it is. It smells like the original fragrance. But a fragrance that I love, I love Gourmands. I love Fave Delicios from the House of Christian Dior, from their La Collection, Privé Collection. <laughs> and uh, Feb Delicios, man, you guys know how, how, that, how they rock with Dior, man. Prices have gone up. I want to say it's almost $300, man, a $320, $350 maybe even to get a bottle of Feb Delicios now. But don't worry about it because you can get this one right here. It's called Frenetic Delicios. And I think this is one of those fragrances from Paris's Corner. Man, they are, they are kind of putting their uh, uh, chokehold on the game as far as um, clones are concerned. Yeah, I think this is Paris's Corner, their Emir collection. But this one, man, Frenetic Delicios smells. First of all, well, let me say this. All the fragrances on this list are at least 95% similar to the original. The main difference I'm picking up, guys, sometimes is the longevity. And there's a little bit more of an alcohol blast with a lot of these in the opening. But outside of that, these fragrances are almost a dead ringer to the original. And this one certainly is no different, man. Frenetic Delicios, man. They even, like I said, the bottle looks very similar to Feb Delicios. The fragrance, uh, hue, the color of the juice, everything. And it's got it all in here, man. The praline, the tonka, the vanilla, all that yummy, good sweetness in Feb Delicios you can find in frenetic delicios for a fraction of the price so i'm gonna link it down below man if you want to check this out if you love sweet delicious gourmand fragrances if you want it fair delicios and couldn't get your hands on it get your hands on this one because you're gonna save a lot of money this is called frenetic delicios all right guys now you guys that have been following me for a while know how much i love the next fragrance that this fragrance clones i'm talking about oud satin mood from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn, one of my favorite fragrances in the entire world. And this fragrance is, again, very, very close to the original. It's also from Paris's Corner, which is from the Ministry of Oud Collection. This one is called Oud Satin. Once again, guys, they're not making it a secret on this stuff. They say Oud Satin Mood, we are coming for your throat, man. Same color juice, 
Again, the bottle was different, but again, the juice on the inside is very similar to the original. And man, listen, it's good. Again, I'm not gonna keep repeating the percentage, at least 95% on all of these. So if you want a budget-friendly Oud Satin Mood, just get Oud Satin. All they did was take the mood off. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys, now another fragrance that I love is one from Killian. Of course, we're talking about Angel Share. Very popular fragrance with praline, really sweet, gourmand fragrance again. And forget about Latafa, uh, Camera. Forget it, all right? Does not smell that much like uh, Angel Share, but this one does. Again, we're going back to Paris's Corner, the Amir Collection. This is called Fire Your Desire. Fire your desire, guys. They got it here. They got it. This one did it. This, yeah, this is Angel Share. I'm just telling you, you got to put your nose on it, man. This is Angel Share. Um, I said it before. Like I said, Comra is a good fragrance. It smells great. And they did a great job cloning the bottle of Angel Share uh, with that one. But the fragrance itself, this should have been the juice on the inside. You know, so if we could take the bottle from Comron and put this fragrance in there, we got our Angel Share almost 100%. But this smells very close to Angel Share. All that sweet praline, cinnamon, vanilla goodness. We get it all here with this one. So check it out if you're looking for an Angel Share alternative. This one is called Fire Your Desire. All right, guys, the next up, uh, we are looking at uh, this one. It is called Imperium. This is from Fragrance World, and this is a clone, obviously of Elysium from Roger Parpons. And uh, again, they knocked it out of the park with this, man. This is one, again, where they, they wanted to make sure, don't even ask no questions yet. We're going after <laughs> Elysium. We're cloning it because the bottle is almost identical as well. So the bottle, the fragrance, it's all here from Fragrance World. Again, this one is called Imperium, and this is almost a dead ringer to Elysium from the house of Roger Parpons. All right, guys, now the next fragrance up on the list, this fragrance is another one that's a little bit more popular, so I won't spend as much time on it, but if we're talking about pound for pound, what fragrances smell almost identical to the original, you got to talk about this fragrance from the house of Latafa. This is called Oud for Glory. Oud for Glory, and of course, this is a clone of Oud for Greatness from the house of Initial Parfums. Another one where bottle, the whole nine, uh, even, of course, the bottle, not just the fragrance itself. The bottle is uh, a good replica. And the color uh, presentation and the whole nine of the bottle of the original. They knocked it out of the park with this, man. So, again, like I said, if you're trying to save some money, you like Oud uh, for greatness, just give this one a try, man. It's from the house of Latapa. This is Oud for glory. All right, guys, and another fragrance I was really happy to discover because this one does mimic one of my favorite fragrances as well, and that is Oud Wood from Tom Ford. This is from the house of Maison Alhambra, and this one is called Woody Oud. Woody Oud, another one where the bottle is very uh, reminiscent of the original fragrance. And um, again, Woody Oud, again, they're not really trying to make, make it a secret right here. Oud Wood, yes, they were coming for uh, the fragrance Oud Wood, the DNA, the bottle, the whole nine, and they knocked it out of the park. Like I said, a lot of these fragrances, guys, especially this one, when you first spray it, there's more of an alcohol blast, but once it starts to dry down, at least for that, you know, from the dry down about five to 10 minutes in for about three or four hours, you got Oud Wood in a bottle. So check it out. It's from the house of Mason Alhambra, and this one is called Woody Oud. Guys, this next fragrance is one I've done a video about. I've done two videos about it. Told you guys that it was on sale, but Baccarat Rouge 540, yes, they got the DNA right with Armoff. This is called Untold. And of course, I'll link it down below. The only place that I know of that has this is Joma Shop. And I linked it down below uh, in a previous video. So I'll try to make sure I do the same. Again, like I said, it's one of the only places that I'm aware of that really has it. And again, I think it was like 49 bucks. I mean, so you can't beat it. But yes, they really mastered the DNA or knocked the DNA out of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 with Untold. Now, I personally, just a small little gripe. I know it's kind of like this psychedelic look on the bottle. At times, it does look red, but then there's like hues of pink, uh, hot pink and stuff like that in there as well. I would have loved that they just did a straight red bottle. You know, just a small little gripe, you know. 
uh, to even more give you that Baccarat, even as far as presentation is concerned. But at the end of the day, the fragrance does smell very similar to uh, the original. So check it out from the House of Armoth. This fragrance is called Untold. All right, guys, now we're going back to the brand of Paris's Corner. Again, to me, they're trying to put a stronghold on the, the clone uh, fragrance game. And this fragrance is from their uh, Pandora Scents collection. And this one is called Tobacco Vanille. <laughs> they even, look, again, they didn't even take uh, whole punches on the name. It's called Tobacco Vanille. It's got to be some type of... Uh, <laughs> Some type of uh, copyright issues that maybe. Well, actually, the fragrance is called Cheruto, I guess. But they actually put tobacco vanilla on the bottle. But if you look at the name, actually on the plate, there's Cheruto. Uh, but they actually got tobacco vanilla written here on the bottle as well. So anyway, you guys know what this, this is a clone of, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. They got it. Again, they really, really knocked that, that DNA out of the park with this fragrance. So again, if you're looking for an alternative to tobacco vanilla, this is one that I've got in my collection that I smell that is really, really close. Again, this is called Cheruto from the Paris Corner brand, the Pandora Sense Collection. All right, guys, in this next fragrance, we're going back to the house of Armoff. And of course, this is Craze from Armoff. I'm so glad I have this back in my collection. I had it at one point and sold it. I got it back because this is one of the best clones of Pegasus from Parfums de Marley that I've ever put my nose on. And uh, so if you like those, uh, if you never smelled Pegasus, this is a very creamy almond vanilla sandalwood fragrance right here. And like I said, this is very, very close to the original. And this one, guys, is probably, you can probably find it for about 25 bucks. So definitely one that I highly recommend if you like that kind of scent DNA view. Like Pegasus, but didn't want to spend that kind of money. Go ahead and get yourself a bottle of Craze from the House of Armand. And last but not least, guys, it would be almost blasphemous if I did not have this fragrance on the list. You know what it is. It's from Armoff. This is Club Bane and We Intense, man. And this stuff is absolutely fantastic. The best events is clone I personally have ever put my nose to. And uh, I just want to say something really quick. This is an older bottle. So if you guys have this fragrance, if you look on the side of the bottle, like now they're putting the, the name Club Bane and We on the side this is not that this is one of those earlier uh bottles of this fragrance and guys this smells very very close i have a batch of creed adventures from 2017 upstairs and this smells very very similar to that batch that i have so i try to hold on to this one i try to cherish it i have two other bottles of this uh, but honestly even comparing the clones, you know, comparing bottles and I guess you want to say batches of Club Day New Week Intense, man, this one is more intense uh, than the other ones that I have. Like those newer batches that have Club Day New Week going down the side of it uh, are a little bit more diluted to me, a little bit more watered down than this one. But anyway, if you can find one, especially without the name going down the side of the bottle, you really got something. And like I said, this is the best Creed event is inspired by or clone that I've ever put my nose on. It's from the House of Our Mouth. And again, this is Club Nanny Wee, Intense Man. But that is it, gentlemen. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 of the best clones that I've smelled in my fragrance journey that are almost the exact replica of the original. What are some other fragrances out there that you feel are almost 95, almost 100% um, similar to the original? I would love to hear from you guys now in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, man, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better, I'll catch you, on the flip side, peace.